Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of October 4th through October 11th for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as usual, I, I appreciate every single one of you. I thank you so much for watching the readings and um, certainly for hitting that like button. That does something to the YouTube algorithm so that YouTube will show the reading to people who are searching for Aquarius tarot readings and of course for subscribing. It means a lot to me and again I thank you for subscribing and if you're new I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. I post new readings every Friday and then typically again on Monday or Tuesday. I recognize that it's not always everyone's reading but it's always somebody's so if you don't, if it doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days or you could check a different part of your chart too, okay? Just have fun with it. Be light about it, okay? And, um, well, let's begin here. Let's get the messages for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know, please, for the highest good of all involved with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I don't know who needs to hear this, but you know, the joy is in the journey, okay? If you're if you're showing up here because you're a little bit blue today or melancholy, I can feel that and I guess I just, I want to give you something to uplift you, okay? For whoever that's for, there's love all around you. So, and here we go with the Queen of Cups. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> you've got the Queen of Cups, you've got the Ten of Wands, you've got the Seven of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. You've got the Eight of Swords, interesting, next to the Strength card, which is also an Eight, and the Star and the Sun. That's beautiful. There you go. There's your upliftment. How about this? Here is Here are your uplifters right here, the Sun, the Star, and the Strength. So you're, you're here, Aquarius. So I do, I like that very much. You have Leo here. You certainly have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, you have Aquarius, I mentioned. You've got Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You do have Air here, too, and Earth. So you've got all the elements, I guess, right? Um, but, yeah, you've been through something. There's something that's been weighing on you, and it's taken a lot of effort or investment. So for some of you, too, if it's a relationship that's been kind of stalled out or rocky, there's a part of you that feels like you've really invested a lot of time and even possibly money in it. Um, you know, for somebody here, I get that you bought a house together. Somebody here bought a house with somebody and then things started to hit the skids and it got scary. But I do feel like there's a re rebirth here. So if you're still together and you're in this house and that's you or you're in something where you're cohabitating, there's a re rebirth. I keep getting that rebirth. And so too, it's important. We're, we'll get into the beginning here in a minute, but Whenever you see unclothed characters in the cards, that's important because there's total acceptance here. This is self-acceptance. It's a it's the level of acceptance you need to heal and to move forward. And boy, does this move forward in beautiful ways. So um, I, again, I very much like this for you. There's certainly good things coming. You've got this Queen of Cups, okay? So there's love here. This is a, a really harmonious kind of an energy to have around you. And it may be for somebody here just needing to find some compassion. If there's something about the person that has been disturbing to you, not disturbing in a way of like something really horrifying, but like just annoying things that irk you and just kind of having some compassion and going, well, okay, what's more important to me, having this relationship or you know, getting them to put the floss in the garbage and not throwing it on the tra on the floor next to the trash. You know what I mean? It's like nitpicky things that start to build up. It's the ants that get you. It's the day-to-day -day stuff. And over time, it snowballs and it becomes something way bigger than it is when it doesn't need to be. The most important relationship any of us have is with us and our source. The relationship problems aren't with you and the other person. They're you and you and them and them. It's not the two of you. You're getting out of alignment somehow if that's what's happening. Now, I, I know I dedicated quite a bit of time to somebody who's already in something, but that's just what I feel. I do feel like you've got an opportunity for new love. So if you've been in a situation where you've been very burdened 
you have it a couple of times, you're getting out of a cycle of feeling very burdened and restricted by either work or possibly a divorce or something that you've been needing to change. Um, it could even be weight loss. I get that for somebody where you've just not been feeling your best and wanting to move forward and, and maybe you've lost some weight that was making you feel insecure or something like that or some physical thing that you had some sense of insecurity about. Um, being able to put that down with this Ten of Wands, it feels though with the Seven here, it's like, you know, it's like you, you were not going to let it stop you, but it's carried weight. There's been a weight on you. And maybe that's why I'm thinking weight. Maybe it's just the word weight. But either way, with this Ten of Wands, it's really time to let go of any limiting beliefs. And maybe that's it. It's not even about physical appearance as much as it is about the ego tie to that. Because really, there's somebody for everyone. And everyone has certain things they don't necessarily want or like about their appearance. But it's kind of that acceptance. You know, I've known women that were obsessed with the aging of their hands. I couldn't care less. And that's all you see. Doesn't bother me. There's some people, though, that, that they get very insecure about it, right? It's their own limiting belief. It's not the hands, because who cares? Um, but either way, it's something like that. And maybe that, as I talk through this with you, it's getting clearer that it's more about that, the the perception of something than the actual thing itself. I hope you're following me with that. But you're getting free of that. And the great thing about it, and this makes total sense as I talk about this, is it's you against you, all right? You're the victor here, but you're also the opponent, all right? So you against you, and so you're going to come out on top because you're going to be able to remove some of that or release some of that. And it may be things that were installed a long time ago. Um, there could be a lot of limiting messages around money because you've got money coming in. And what they're telling you is as soon as you can let go of some of that, the opportunities are going to show up. You'll attract them because you're not fighting and resisting them anymore. So the seven of wands here, sevens are about victory and success in the tarot. And, you know, you're going to come out on top here either way. So regardless of what the, what the belief system is that holds you back, if it's something about money or even about your education, I get that for somebody here, that they may have gone to some college and not completed a degree and they've had somebody in their ear, maybe a parent telling them that was going to be a real problem. Like, you know, you, I told you, you know, this kind of energy, but it's actually, you're going to be able to work around it and it's not going to matter. So don't lie on your resume because it won't matter anyway. And it will matter if you get caught lying. You've got money coming in. You've got the Midas touch here. Somebody here I see in a casino and um, if that's you and you like to go to casinos, then I wouldn't say go running out to a casino if you've never been to one. But if you are a regular frequent flyer, you got money coming in here. Um, it's also though with this, a card of great stability. So in terms of love relationships, this is really a stable relationship too. And so as you attract and let go of any limitations, the energy that you attract is somebody who wants a commitment, who wants to uh, wants to to be there with you. They're not playing games. It's very mature. They're very, they are very charming though. I do get that. They are somebody who commands a presence. Um, they might be rather tall. I get that tall and almost like barrel chested if it's a man. Um, but broad shoulders either way, man, woman, but they've got a nice posture about them too. So as I say this, I just pick up on these physical elements of them and that's what I'm getting. But there's more than that. It's more than just the physical. They're proud of the relationship. They will be. I feel like they're proud of the commitment. They're proud of the, you know, they want, they want a family though. They want, they want more than just, uh, somebody to date and have fun with. It really is more more about even building a house together or living together. Uh, I do have something with that. I keep coming in about living together. So we talked a little bit about the Eight of Swords, and this is a committee meeting in your head. So all you have to do is cancel the meeting, all right? You're in charge of it. You organize the meeting, and you can walk free of this. So it's just your own limiting beliefs here. And 
it's time to be done with those and, and you can overcome it with this kind of energy. Okay, you overcome anything with this and you got it twice. Did we already pick these up if we did? Sorry. But you, you overcome any challenges with this kind of energy. There's nothing that can stop you. Now, for some of you in a relationship, there's some... Um, some kind of suppressed feelings or conversation that needs to happen here in it well um, but it's it's there's definitely emotional here but there's support here too I do feel like it's uh there's an understanding there's an ability to listen and an ability to communicate with one another in a way that brings a re resolution or result it's like there's a conversation that needs to happen but it's really there's warmth around it it's not like you know, knock down, drag out kind of energy. But either way, I mean, this is really about you discovering your own inner strength, your own ability to navigate problems. And you're in your own power here with the star. It's wish fulfillment, yes, but it's also this spiritual and emotional cleansing, okay? So in terms of a conversation, it's very emotional. It's Air energy, but it's very watery. Okay, there's a lot of water here with the star and pouring out emotions and really putting it all out there, putting everything out there. And in, an, in a relationship like with the King of Pentacles, there's a groundedness there, but then this brings in a nice mellow undertone to give it that emotional undercurrent with the Queen of Cups that makes a relationship have depth and love because just with that earth energy, it's just not quite enough you know, it's stability, but it's not, it's not that emotional component. And here you go. So this brings in the emotions and it's wish fulfillment. So the things that you want in a relationship show up, the qualities of the person show up. And certainly with the sun, this is victory and success as well. It's a hell yes card. This is, you know, he waves this banner of victory. You've got a baby commanding a horse. You've got a woman taming a lion they're telling you if there's some obstacle, you're going to overcome it. So if there's something in a relationship and you felt heartbroken or burdened, you're overcoming it here. And you're bringing in something beautiful. It's pure positivity. This is pure positivity and love. It really is one of the highest vibrational cards you could get. I always like to see the sun and showing up in a reading. And especially how I felt when I began the reading that there's somebody here that is in some pain. You've got, uh, you've got good things coming towards you, so you don't need to worry. You really don't. And the more you worry, the more you're going to keep it away from you because you're just going to attract situations that create worry. So you almost kind of have no choice, but it's like get happy, right? Don't worry, be happy. So um, not that I'm not saying not to have feelings because we do have to have them. That's how we move through them. But again, they're telling you, that there's good things to come. So we'll get a, we got the timeline. We'll get the yes, the no, the maybe. You've got an opportunity, but this is a golden opportunity. It fits well with the star and the sun in this reading. Um, certainly for money, there's an opportunity. If it's some kind of new deal or something you're working, you'll have, it seems like more business maybe than you could feel comfortable handling, but it's here. So you may as well take it while it's here. They tell you it's up to you, okay? And again, this may be about that committee we talked about and that there's something that you have control over. You just need to focus on it and, and let go of it. Um, and I know it sounds contradictory, but you know you need to address it, I guess, is a better way of saying it. And they tell you to trust, okay? So usually I would say this is in the universe and knowing the universe wants the best for you, but I feel like for some of you, it may be in a person so if there's some part of you that's unsure, they're telling you they're trustworthy. And then you have take action, all right? So they're telling you to move forward and take action um, because there's the opportunity is here with a golden opportunity. You've got an opportunity. So the next part of it, if it's, you know, you can have unlimited potential, but if it's passive, nothing happens. So you have to take some action with it. And they tell you it's a yes, so... Whatever you're trying to call in, especially with the sun, that's a hell yes. Um, they're telling you it's a positive. It's a positive thing that will bring in. It feels like it brings in a lot of different things, but it brings in a lot of joy and it brings in love. So you can't ask for more than that. So 
I love you so much, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.